Onivia, League of Legends highlights. I really personally like Camille answers into Aatrox uh, as a counter, but it looks like he's not going to go that angle. It, it would also give you options for trying to further pick people off and separate people since you're running the, the one with the pushing bottom lane, so they want to get those dragons stacked early. That's really big. Uh, denying LNG early dragon stacking is uh, the way that we saw how well JDG was able to play around that in game one. Shutter down can start generating some large gold leads. We need to take down Ruler though, because the Herald went over to Kanavi. Yeah. And not going to be able to get that last plate, but Scout has moved into position. There's the knockoff. They managed to get the cease and desist as well. Ruler's going to be taken out. First blood goes to Scout and missing. He's now underneath his turret. Last shot, not going to come through there. And that is the double kill for the LNG mid laner. Scout has been so good. Top, if that's where he's required hook, just going to hit the wall there from Hung. Sometimes these things happen, you know, as now Tarzan. Charging the Vault Breaker, is going to find the Flash onto Kanavi. They get into the back line, he can't do anything, but the Pop Blossom is absolutely huge in response. It's just not huge enough. As now Scout trying to get out of there, 369 gigantic as he gets over the wall. Hung just sees his death as he breaks his stopwatch on the ground. The Aatrox will pay for it as Zika's here to tidy up. Get themselves the Dragon and I'm... We'll see what the draw is here. LNG hoping for a strong soul to come through. Like a cloud. That's not what it's going to be. Ooh. It's going to be Dragon. We're going to go all in, try to really blow up our gold lead, already overloading the top half of the map. And JDG seems to be moving people towards it. Break. Use that control that they bought for themselves. Night now, though. Teleport in from 369. Yeah, they're looking for the opportunity. Yes, 369 may have been a little bit early as the hook is fantastic. The chain CC comes in, but look at the charm. It's on to everyone. There's the follow up. It's Kanavi. He's going to cut them down with the Cyclone. It's Ruler that grabs the first kill. Knight collects one as well. And JDG bought themselves all the space. They'll take the first Hextech. I'm tired now, Kobe. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Give me another turret shot. <laughs> Well, Zika is going to get some work done here towards the bottom side. Gets that outer turret for himself to move that mm -hmm. up. And uh, then we don't know how this game is going to go at all. Uh, they're going to be able to take the outer turret here in response, though, on JDG's side. So that's going to on Gala here. Uh, as, as much as Scout has gotten some early kills and has started... Oh, Kanavi. Yeah, finds the angle. Scout is just flashing and trying to get away, but he's not going to be able to do so. The Foxfire comes out. Can you actually get out of this one? The answer is no. Kanavi presses Q and down goes the Ari. And JDG now have dealt with Scout. It's a four versus five, and they are bearing down on LNG. They're looking for this inner turret, and they could take anything else that they'd like. Tarzan also possibly caught out of position. Kanavi's just taking names at this part of the game. Knight not going to find the Pop Blossom there, so that's a cooldown they don't need to deal with. But this is one that they have to, as the quickness comes in, and they are just torn apart. Goal is taken out. The turret was still up, but it doesn't matter. Because Ruler is there to take it down, and JDG, they're oh, sorry. I'm at sorry. the very least, LNG will get a dragon, but that's not going to be... Nate, they might not even be able to. Yeah, they're going to defend the dragon sneak attempt from LNG as well. 369 comes down. Another charm is going to... Two knockups in a massive AoE around your champion. You're feeling pretty good about it. And he thinks that uh, that's very still... frightening. Three items already completed as Zika. Looking for these opportunities as in goes Tarzan. Wants to be able to find this one. Kanavi's going to go golden. Keeps himself alive. Buys the time. Is hung. He's going to be the target here from JDG. They managed to get the one for one trade, but it's a little bit better here, you should say, for LNG. Taking down the jungler. And now Scout looks for the opportunity. Another quickness is incredible as Ruler dives on top of Tarzan. But he doesn't exactly find the value he's looking for. The third Q does come in. They get rid of the Vi. But Ruler is also dead. And now Tala taken down. 369 is a monster, and he's gonna take the triple kill. And JDG, I think they've done it again. Look at his player cam, he's not even impressed. <laughs> this is just a normal day for this man. He's rolling 999 this time around. Knight hits that double snare at the end. LNG are down, JDG are gonna move on through. And I can feel the groan of all the LPL commentators like, not again, it always happens just this way. But JDG, the favorites for the tournament will also be the first ones welcomed to the knockout stage of Worlds. An LPL tournament favorite that does not disappoint. Oh. It is not 2015, I tell you that much, Kobe.